Hello guys, welcome to our tutorial of PostgreSQL. In this tutorial onwards, we'll start off with the advanced series of PostgreSQL. So we will start off with the functions first of all. So we have heard about functions in probably each and every programming language we have coded in. So PostgreSQL functions are uh, none different than the other uh, programming languages. They are also called as uh, stored procedures. So it allows us to do a task that uh, takes several queries or uh, it requires multiple, you know, statements to execute the task. So this is the basic rule of function that we have heard about in each and every programming languages. It be either it be C, C++ or Java. So we can make a function which can, can contains a set of queries and uh, we can give a call to that function so that you know the statement inside the function it get executed and a value is returned to us a function in postgresql can uh, increase usability and also readability so in this tutorial i'm going to tell you about how to create your own functions the user defined functions we have created the postgresql functions such as add subtract mul and uh, increment decrement the greatest the least function the floor seal function so they are all inbuilt functions so today we are going to learn about how to make our own functions the user defined functions so first of all i'm going to tell you about uh, how to make it using sql then i'm taking you to how to make it by the pg admin so first of all let us begin by how to create a user defined function of your own so I'll be switching on to SQL now. So this is create or replace function. Turns integer as a total declare total integer and let us begin our function here select count star into total from company and return total we end here and total language plp gsql so most of you would be wondering i mean what the hell on earth is this so this is nothing but a function a postgresql function or a normal sql function that you would encounter this is the basic of them all so i'm going to explain it to you step by step so first line here tells us to create a function or replace a function that is named as total so it creates a function named as total if it does not exist or it replaces the existing function or modifies it if the total function already exists so it returns a value so as we all know a function it returns a value so it returns an integer value and as total total here this is the starting body of the function so you can you know name it anything as per convention you could even leave it blank you could just do a dollar dollar and change it to dollar dollar here it won't matter so here it is basically the body of the function or the start of a function that is happening from here so with the declare statement we make all the declarations in our code or in the function so i have declared a total variable of integer type here so this is normal declare then we do begin so a begin in a function is where we write our sql statements and uh, it is the place where the execution or the main execution where the program 
you know the statements of the program it executes that's the main part of your program so here it is select count star into total so i'm doing a count of my records that is count star and that is being pushed into the total that is into this integer variable and i'm selecting my record from the company table and i am returning total so here if i just you know wrote return count star from company that would also be an uh, you know valid statement but uh, i need to show you the declaration part so i had to do this and i'm returning the total value that contains the count star value and this is the end of the function and this is the end of the body now so as i told you about the body you could mention any name of your choice and the language is plp gsql that is the postgresql language and you can define it in any language such as c internal or sql that depends on you we'll cover that uh, in later tutorials so this is the way you define a basic function so if you run this you would see that it returns successfully and if i go in my pgr min and you see that i have one function now that is named as total and you see that uh, i have the declarations or you have the sql pane you see each and everything here and you can just now run this so what you need to do is uh, select total and if you run this you see i have 102 that is returned to me so this is the way you you know create a function and then use it you can verify it by select star from company and you see that uh, i have 102 records here so this is the way you create a function i hope that gave you a basic idea of how to create a function and how to use a function so the next thing i want to talk about is the increment function so we all have used the inbuilt increment function that increments a particular value uh, a particular integer by one so we will build our own increment function now so using the same method just to uh, create or replace function inc and value integer so this is the parameter that it takes <coughs> that is an integer value it takes so value is your name that you have given it is user defined and integer is the type of this value it is a variable so uh, you don't need a declaration here so you would just to return an integer as it returns an integer as uh, the body it starts here and as i said doesn't need a declaration just begin and uh, return value plus one and just end and end the body and just write language p l p g s q l that's it and just run this oops this is uh, mm, oops it returns and it returns successfully <coughs> and you could see now that uh, i have two functions now an uh, increment that has an integer as a parameter now so you could just run this and uh, verify you could just do select inc of 4 and run this you see i get a 5 so we have successfully built an user defined increment function i couldn't just check for any value 
so the last example that we would be considering is the sum function that we already have used the inbuilt sum function so now we'll be building our own sum function and using that so again the same method that is create function and one more thing I'd like to mention is that uh, it is not compulsory every time to create or replace a function you can normally create a function too that is create function sum and uh, val1 that is integer and val2 that is again an integer and it returns integer as uh, sum and just begin and you need to return val1 plus val2 and just end it here and just end the body now and language is plp gsql and just run it mm, i again have an error that is val2 run it and you see that i have another function now that is two parameters that is integer and integer so you could just verify by running it select sum 20 30 should give me 50 and you see i get the same sum so this was all about uh, introduction to functions we'll cover more advanced topics on this and uh, similarly if we had uh, you know two parent two parameters here in this function you could see what happens if we put three parameters by mistake you see it will give me an error that is uh, function sum integer integer and integer does not exist so that is quite obvious that is function sum integer integer is what we declared and we are passing in three parameters so it gives a hint that is no function matches the given name and argument type so you may need to add an explicit typecast so for now thank you for watching this tutorial subscribe for more and stay tuned